Hey everyone, what's up? I have an exciting video for my lip balm lovers out there today. I am talking all about my top five favorite lip balms, favorite formulas, favorite brands. I'm gonna go over all of it in this video. So it might be a longer one. All right, so first one I'm gonna talk about today, Burt's Bees. This one, the original, is a very strong peppermint fragrance, which I like, I personally enjoy it. It kind of is a little bit like refreshing to me, um, but it is very strong. So if you're not into that, they have tons of other scents now. And these are just my favorites that I came to mind when I was making in this video so this one right here is newer to me I tried it recently it's coconut and pear this scent is so pretty it's very soft it's really not too heavy at all so if you're like kind of more of on the natural side of lip balms I would say try Burt's Bees um, I really like this coconut pear this one is just amazing pumpkin spice another one of my favorites from Burt's Bees this one smells like actually a pumpkin chai latte that I get from coffee bean it is so good oh, I wish you guys could smell it it's so like, it's not too, it's so good, but at the same time, it's not like overpowering. It's not too much. Sometimes lip balms, I feel like that are fragrance can be like just too kind of fake smelling. Like they smell chemically. It's not like quite on the money, but these fragrances, they really smell like what they say and it's not too much. Like it's just perfect. I really love, I enjoy them. And this one, last but not least, Caramel Apple is another one of my favorites from Burt's Bees. And these two are limited edition, but they come around this time of the year so I figured perfect time to mention them. Caramel apples on the sweeter side if you like sweet scents get this one it's really good. I use these all the time I've repurchased the original one many times throughout my life and I just find it's something I keep coming back to that I would recommend to anyone I just really like this. Something that is a little bit different in a lip balm, I've talked about this before, it's the C.O. Bigelow My Favorite Night Balm. So you can get this at Bath & Body Works. This is like $8, but you can get them on sale all the time, like buy one get one free, buy one get one half off, like they have different sales. So just wait for a sale um, because it is a little pricey, but this one is so worth it and it's unique. It's not really like anything else I've tried because it looks like a lip gloss. I have it on top of my lipstick right now and it looks really glossy but it feels so hydrating and it's a little bit on the like it's thin in texture but it kind of gives your lips this protective coat feeling to it like it feels nourishing like as soon as you apply this it just kind of soothes your lips the other reason I really like this is because the packaging is so convenient I know it doesn't really look like it make a huge difference but I feel like the squeeze tube is just a nice touch on the packaging I don't know why but something about this applicator it's slanted I just enjoy applying it I feel like it just is very easy to use and um, I put this on a lot at night but I also wear it so much during the day on top of lipstick. Those of you who've been with me for a while have heard me mention this before at least once because it's a really good one. I like it. I've repurchased it a lot. Now, okay, I have to talk about one of my favorite favorites from the drugstore that you guys have probably seen in a lot of empties videos, um, a lot of past lip balm hauls, recent lip balm hauls, Chapstick Total Hydration Lock 3-in-1 Lip Care or something. They have like a long name. Um, I just call them the hydration locks from Chapstick. These are fantastic. I haven't had a drugstore lip balm since Lipsol that I've liked as much until these came along. These are like tied for me now and I'm telling you these are just so good for moisture. Like they are one of the best I've tried and they are a little pricier for Chapstick. This I think goes for like $3.50 to $4 depending on which drugstore you buy it at. But I feel like it's worth it. Like I have repurchased this Luscious Lemon Delight like four times. This is like my fifth tube, fourth tube, something crazy like that. I just adore this. It's it's silky. It feels like buttery almost when you apply this. It really does everything that I need it to and it smells great and it feels great. So this is definitely a comfortable, perfect kind of formula for me. Ever since I first tried these, I loved them right away. I did a whole review on them and I still love this lemon scent. This one is my favorite. I like the peach one. They even have unscented. And when I first tried these, I was like, wow, I wish they had them in a tinted formula because this feels so great. Like I want to have it on my lips in a 
lipstick kind of thing you know and they came out with the tinted ones recently and I was just like like I had to take a minute and was just like thank you so much like it was so awesome for me I was like this is the best thing ever so I have to mention the new tinted formula this is the moisture plus tint and this is the Merlot shade I talked about this in my last favorites video and a lot of you said like oh my god I'm so excited too and yeah I mean it's just great I buy mine at Walmart usually Usually it's around like a dollar fifty to two dollars depending on if it's on sale or not um, I know some people have a hard time finding this but I think you can find it online like drugstore.com or Amazon if I ever actually get chap lips or like dry lips this is what I use to heal it to soothe it to make it actually heal and go away this is the product that I feel like truly does heal my lips like if I need it to um, but I also use this like when I get ready in the morning I apply this while I do my makeup a lot of you tell me you've tried this too and you really like it so I know it works for a lot of people it works for me I just really love this like this is my definite favorite formula ever of all time this stuff is the best so yeah that's it for my top five favorite lip balms and you know sometimes it does change over time that's why I wanted to update this video and maybe I'll do another updated one in the future but for now this is my favorite these are my favorite top five lip balms that I would say try and if you're looking for a good lip balm maybe one of these will work for you that's it for today's video please let me know in a comment what you your favorite lip balms are or if you have like one favorite of all time I would love to hear about it and also all my lip balm lovers out there please let me know what kind of lip balm video that you would like to see next from me um, whether it's like a worst lip balms or a collection video like whatever you guys want to see let me know I would love to hear from you guys I can't wait to talk about lip balm and as always thank you so much for watching